Hi, I'm Scott Felzer. Uh, we're getting ready to watch episode one, which is of the Eastern Garter Snake Morphs. And uh, a little bit about myself, I've been a garter snake breeder for many years, um, about 20. And um, my main interest is in breeding unusual garter snakes. So um, I hope you enjoy the video. We're looking at the Anerthristic Eastern Garter from South Carolina. This is an Anerthristic from West Virginia. These are pictures, the following four are pictures of offspring from the West Virginia bred to an Anerthristic Eastern. You can see the variation in their colors and patterns. It's pretty amazing. This is an albino eastern garter. Uh, it's a paradox from New York. This is an albino flame garter. Flame bred to an albino. This is an adult of, of that. This is a Kenton County albino from Kenton County, Ohio. This is a Shewitt albino. This is a Florida albino. This is another example of a Florida albino. This is another shot of the, of the New York paradox, and this is another shot of the Shewitt albino from Ohio. This is an albino from Michigan. Another shot of the Michigan albino. These are erythristic albinos. These are erythristics bred to albinos and then the resulting double head spread back to one another. These are very high end. This is a moderate erythristic albino cross. You can see the variation between them. This is a leucistic eastern, um, originally, originally was found up in upstate Pennsylvania, and this is a baby. Another baby shot with her litter mates. The leucistic was bred to a flame, and this is a result of that. The flame leached into the leucism, creating the orange tint. This is another moderately flame. This is another flame leucistic. Another shot of the flame leucistic. So there were variations in the degree of color with, within the flames. This is the original mom on the leucistics. This is a snow eastern garter. This was created from breeding an albino to a melanistic and then crossing those resulting offspring back to one another. That's, that's the adult mom. This is another shot of a baby. You can see the ruby red eyes. A um, little different than a normal snow. This is considered a dirty snow. This is a flame, the flame eastern garter. There's quite a bit of a variety in these flames. Uh, this is a very high red. These are what most people really like. This is another high red individual. This is a light peach phase. This is a headshot of a real high red flame. Another body shot of a, of a flame. Uh, orange flame as a baby in shed. Another shot of the uh, high red baby. This is an adult male high red flame. And this is a extreme orange flame. And this is a high red flame as well. And this was an unusual flame that was found in uh, upstate New York. And this is another example of a peach flame. This is a silver eastern. This was found in upstate New York. Uh, very, very unusual morph. Uh, has ruby red eyes. And um, it produced very high male too. This is a piebald eastern garter. Um, very unusual snake found in the southeast. This is an erythristic eastern. This was from Florida. Uh, another erythristic eastern. Different locality. This is a Carteret County erythristic. This snake is fire engine red. Very, very pretty. This is another Florida erythristic with a baby. This is an offspring from the erythristics. 
another uh, offspring from, from the erythrocytes. The erythrocytes start out looking normal at birth, and then as they grow, they gain more and more color, varying degrees of, of red. This is an, another example of the erythrocytic. This is another example of a baby. This is an, another shot of a Florida erythrocytic. And this is the Carteret County with a Florida, with the Shewitt albino. And this is a shot of a erythrocytic eastern as well. This is a golden eastern garter. This is a very unusual morph found in New Jersey. Um, it is recessive and um, just a very, very unique morph. And you can see pictures of the adults. That's a, an adult male. And a very, very cool morph. Here's a picture of the baby. Another group shot of the babies. This is a scaleless garter that was produced in the Golden Clutch uh, unexpectedly. This is a melanistic eastern found in northern Ohio, a natural occurring morph. Jet black with a little bit of white on their chin. This is a partially melanistic eastern. This is a hypo eastern, very unique, very interesting. This is a striped eastern garter from New York. This is an unusual garter that popped up in a clutch. And these last two pictures are of normal eastern garter snakes.